so now let us look at the one of the interesting problem on matrix so you have a matrix and you need to print all the diagonal elements so like this you have one then four two then seven five three then eight six nine so that is how you need to print and you need to return that vector that's it you need to put all the elements and you need to return that's it so the main uh, main section has the vector that is matrix then again it has a vector and it is receiving the uh, the vector that is returned by this function right this function will return me the vector so vector type it should return so then uh, i have to print that vector that's it this answer vector i need to print so i am taking the uh, the matrix to this function then let me define a vector because i need to return right now int answer now if this matrix match dot size if it is equal to zero then what you do you return me simply the answer that means you don't have uh, any elements in the matrix so return the empty vector that's it so now for solving any matrix i said you that you need a uh, row size and column size definitely you, you need to first thing you need to consider is that take simply take the uh, the row size and matrix size so mat dot size then int n will have what column so mat dot mat 0 dot size so i have the number of columns i have number of rows now let's look at the uh, look at uh, the pattern that how we can print this right let us look at some pattern here so initially you need to print this one okay i will print it that means my row is starting from where to where so it is at zero initially and it will go to where zero because i am staying in this row itself right okay now what about the column column is it is starting from zeroth column then it is reaching the zeroth column obviously okay now let us run the second iteration second iteration is 4 2 that means my i need to print which row means at first what i need to print the 4 right so 4 is at which row it is at first row that means you are going from first row then you are going to 2 that means the zeroth row right zero through now what about column column is incrementing you are going from first column to second column or zeroth column to first column right zeroth column to first column zeroth column to first column what about the third iteration third iteration is starting from zeroth row then you are finally reaching to the first uh, that is zeroth row it's starting from second row and you are reaching the uh, reaching the zeroth row right what i would call them column is starting from zeroth column then you are reaching the second column that means the pattern is row is decreasing okay column is increasing okay now forget about this now forget about this let us print this thing first for one for loop i am printing this uh, these elements then for second uh, for loop i am printing these elements now let us solve the first for loop that means row is incrementing okay row is incrementing row is again it is not constant it is not constant initially it will be zero then it will it, it keep, keeps on incrementing okay it keeps on incrementing that is why i took r plus plus but but again you need to remember it is again going to zero that means it is decrementing means initially it will be zero row and it will go on increasing but uh, f uh, further it is going to decrease right that is what happening here now what about column column is initially zero it will always be zero it will always start from zeroth column now again it will go to second column till second column it can go that means it can go till the last column right so column is incrementing so row is decrementing column is incrementing right so you need to remember that so let's go and write the solution you will get to know there now initially let me write a for loop int so i said you i am going to write two for loop this is the first for loop so int i is equal to right or anything like uh, let me take it as yes or f that means uh, that means the first uh, loop right first loop it is starting from where that means this for loop helps this f will give the value for the rows that is what my objective is 
it will give the values for the rows because row is changing 0 1 2 like that is, it is changing so let it start from 0 so let is uh, let it go uh, let the value of f reach till the number of rows right number of rows number of rows is what m so f plus plus then i will come again inside and here for loop for for i i means what in i is my row row is taking the value of f okay now what about j that is the column it is always zero it is always starting from zero okay now i should always be greater than equal to zero why 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 because you see you you start from here so you will reach to uh, this element two right then what is the index of the row zero again if you reach three then again row is zero that means you are definitely reaching this zero you are reaching this zero right so it is greater than equal to zero so what about j and again and condition i am going to use then j should reach till its value that is n right i already said you then i need to decrement i then i need to increment j that's it right that's it now i need to push back this answer push back b a c k back a r r sorry mat i and j that's it now this is what one of the condition i will take care of now so that's it we have printed all the elements like 1 4 2 7 5 3 8 6 9 as to be printed for that let's see what the condition sorry 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 okay now let us rub this thing here so because I will show you the pattern my pattern will change here so now you have 8 6 and 9 to print so here you can observe that the column is starting from where it is starting from 1 okay it is starting from 1 so this is row and this is column so column is always starting from 1 right it is starting from 1 that means go to first column you print 8 then you print 6 that means you will go to the second next column then in the second iteration you are starting from 9 that means column initially will be 1 and it will go till where number of columns right till number of columns it will go that is what the condition you can observe right you can simply you need to see the pattern in the matrix that's it so let me rub this and let me write clearly how it actually works so let me rub this again let me write the matrix i will show you clearly so let me remove everything so again i have a matrix so one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have printed till here. Right? Till here. Now I need to print 8. That means I am starting from where? I am starting from first column. First column. Then I will print 6. Forget about 6 now. Next time, next iteration, I am going to 9. I am going to print that. That means column will go where? It will go to 2. That means here I, have ch I was changing the row. So, in the next for loop, I am changing the column. Right? Column is changed. Now, what about row? Row is again decreasing, right? It is again decreasing. Again, it is decreasing. So, row is decreasing again. Column is uh, column is again increasing. But, it is not initially 0. Initially, it is not starting from 0. But, but the row is initially starting from m minus 1. That means m means what number of rows minus one so it is always starting from this last row again starting from last row that is what the condition so in this case in the previous case c was always starting from zero it's zero 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 now row is starting from m minus one so that's it that's a pattern now for int f again let me take it as f or yes that means second loop Case will start from 1. Yes, will go till n number of columns. Yes, plus plus will come inside. 
then again for loop for int i will start from where m minus 1 you know right you know right. then j will always carry the value of yes then i has to be greater than equal to 0 and j must be less than n then i minus minus j plus plus that's it now if i push back the answer push back p u s such push back b s k back the mat of i i and j so that's it so i need to return what i need to return or it you are in return answer that's it so if i run i need to get some syntax error so if i don't i should get the result so i'm not getting any result sorry i'm not getting any syntax error so you are printing you are printing 1 6 2 11 11 7 3 16 12 8 4 then 21 17 13 9 5 22 18 14 10 23 okay now it is working right it is working properly at last i have printed 25 so that's it so let me continue this problem that means i need to print differently now i need to print like this like this like this and like this and like this so let us observe the pattern what it is happening here so the pattern is 